of uh, the, my presentation, which more rolls around my personal private practice and how the practice oversteps the boundaries or transgresses into uh, other activities. Um, and then afterwards, um, I think the second part is uh, talking about the design disposal creative residency, um, which is a part of UCA um, and collaboration uh, with the uh, PG students from Rochester, in this case MA Design and MA Contemporary Jewelry students. My research aims to promote minimization of London's future landfill. As my research practice is embedded as a social narrative, public exposition and engagement is essential both to generate insights from the multitude of the stakeholders and for further successful dissemination of my research. Simultaneously, I am also a PhD student as well, so my PhD and my practice overlaps or feeds back into it. So it's a kind of a circular economy in a, in, in a micro level. Conclusive, this, my ongoing research strives to journey beyond the product design vocabulary. We are, as we say, uh, better by design. I'm not necessarily seeking to make more products uh, for the market. Um, exploding the design advocacy framework within social, cultural, environmental, ethical, critical, discard practices which are growing um, on a global level. Uh, personally, um, I'm, I'm really tr truthfully committed of believing um, that promoting design as a social uh, ve vehicle for a social transformation um, is a core of responsibilities or one of the core of responsibilities of this quiet revolution that is going on, but especially uh, or what are the new implementations of design as a profession in the 21st century, or what are those responsibilities that we carry over. So expanding this sort of approach um, and promoting more socially responsible and ecologically engaged design institute, uh, attitude as us as a designers within the uh, HE uh, institution is, w is one of the interests um, that I nurture. Obviously, Kral B um, is a self-posed uh, practice, but it also creates around the self-posed manifesto, which strives to contribute a ele few elements. Um, one of them is what I like to call it a joyful activism, um, trash aesthetics, craft making, exposition, which is a posh word for exhibition, and workshop engagement uh, in the context of London, because even if we are sitting right now in a Kent, all oh, our wow, plastic rubbish, if I understand well, is actually going uh, to, to the London uh, landfill. Um, so we are actually a part of the wider London, which I personally like to call it a metapolis, uh, due to the scale, to the size, um, to the differentiations of all of us uh, being grouped together. Um, it's gone beyond mega. Uh, so how do we deal with this? In 2011 or 2012, um, MWMS, or Municipal Waste Management Strategies, Boris Johnson has brought up this new strategy for the London. Um, and there was a lot of excitement in that given uh, moment um, with um, reuse strategies, with how London is going to recycle more, um, and all of these things that were in the background. Obviously, London as a metropolis deals with a lot of issues in the sense of currently 20 million tons per annum. How we can kind of change these suggested ways of strategy that has been implemented? Because as suggested, um, and as open to, um, uh, to understanding, it does not oblige the citizen to do this sort of a daily ritual, daily habits. And therefore, you know, as a human beings, without sense of placing the guilt of anybody individually, we lack to deliver. So the statistic um, goes in a lot of in the criticism of uh, the new strategy. Um, and between 2012 and 14, Obviously, the figures are not working in a favor in the sense of the UK, how the UK also places in the sense of uh, reuse and recycling versus the rest of the Europe, especially uh, the Nordic countries who excel uh, in this type of a thermal um, uh, treatment as well um, and reuse. And obviously, after the policy implementation, instead of increase and um, um, this sort of um, a very futuristic vision how by 2025 there will be zero landfill, it's very hard for me to kind of grasp that. How we can address uh, before the next uh, political set moves into the next agreement with the next landfill land, how we can reset of how we kind of relate to these processes of daily processes that we have. So now design disposal obviously refers to designing mostly from disposal as a small practice 
And I introduced this um, uh, term of asterism, and lots of people say, well, what is the asterism? And asterism comes from astronomy, and it's a kind of an unrecognized pattern of the stars. Practice itself is uh, based um, not on the GDP, which is gross domestic product, which so far led us to where we are right now, but it's based on GNH, which is gross national happiness. There are four developments or four cores of um, how I operate as an as individual, as a practice, which is preservation of cultural values, conservation of natural environment, sustainable development, and establishment of the good governance or good advocacy. Uh, a giving, uh, this is how we look at the things that we encounter, which everybody else presumes we're going through everybody's um, trash. Uh, in theory, giving the plastic thing and sui generis voice, or becoming a giving a personality in Latin, evaluates the effectiveness and trustworthiness of us as a design process or as a design group. So the meanings are not necessarily attached to the things, but identical to them. The project engages into um, using two sub-departments, which they act as a facilitators, but they also as a co-designers, which is a learning curve. We have also grown into deriving um, a certain conceptual way of what lies behind this uh, Christmas obsession as well. Uh, so it's a co-design x mass narrative. The first phase is design and craft phase, um, which we started from December with the open core, which was also part of disruption, also testing as well the environment, testing the attitudes of the students, the staff as well. Um, so we started with our sort of a, a co-creative uh, crafting phase. It's a very slow phase. In this phase, a lot of people don't see much of the outcome. We are accumulating, there is a certain kind of a, a trash depository as well there. Uh, we are accumulating lots of things, but conceptually we have grown into um, having on Mondays collecting and making uh, sessions uh, that we run on a regular basis. Um, and we also, this X-Mass narrative or forest narrative consists of two trees, uh, the birds. The second, uh, the second aspect of, um, uh, of the residency is to rehack on daily, uh, daily plastic disposal. Um, we also discovered the secret relationship uh, with the canteen and the kitchen, and it's really successful relationship where we are having ongoing um, supply of the milk. This is bottle. also re-looking really in our inner system and, and, and creating a certain sort of uh, acknowledgements and valuable ideas at the end.